Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your June 2022 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So <clears throat> let's get right into your reading and see what we've got coming out for you. June is probably a little bit more of a reflective month. We've had a lot of topsy-turvy energy, a lot of uh, kind of chaotic energy throughout the month of May, uh, epiphanies, revelations, all those things. You probably made some hard decisions, some difficult choices. And June is a little bit of a gentler energy, thank goodness. And coming in for you right away here, we've got soulmates to the sea and come to the edge. Ooh, exciting. All right, so soulmates here can certainly represent that you maybe have an opportunity to partner up with the right people at the right place at the right time. This can maybe be business partnerships. This could be uh, some sort of project in your workplace, and this can potentially lock un unlock new avenues of opportunity for you. Okay, you might uh, have someone new that comes into your workplace, and you just click. You can work really well with this person, and it's an awesome combination of souls that come together there. You may also have somebody who cares for you who may play a key role in your career path or you in your um, financial um, decisions and your financial situation here as well this may be a family member a friend okay uh, this can of course just be somebody that has your best interest at heart and it's a wonderful energy with the soulmates energy here now I do have to say that for some of you um, perhaps uh, you don't always want to hear this okay it's not a love reading okay it's, it is your money and your career However, um, I think at least for somebody out there, you may be meeting the love of your life or a really, really, really good friend um, in your workplace at some point. This may be someone new that comes in or maybe someone that you reconnect with uh, from the past, okay? And this could lead you to a very wonderful place, okay, with this soulmate's energy. So it could lead you to love and romance. It may just lead you to a deep, uh, a deeply bonded friendship there as well. Okay, so uh, it's a wonderful energy. Um, I also think for some of you, your personal life may actually have an impact on your um, obviously financial decisions. Okay, um, you know, you could be blending your finances together. It might be a big sigh of relief for you. Um, but I think also that your home life may actually impact your career plans as well. And sometimes, oh, you know. Uh, Especially if you've been single, okay, you might meet someone new or perhaps you're entering into a higher level of commitment with someone in your personal life, okay, or maybe even starting a family, something like that. And that may change the way you conduct yourself or may change your trajectory in your career goals, okay? Maybe you can take a load off, maybe do something a little bit more in alignment with uh, you know, with your creative side or, you know, maybe something a little bit more fun than where you're not just in there for to make money and, and have a paycheck, maybe something that's a little bit more fulfilling. So you may have something in there that affects you. But we also have to the sea and to the sea is just going with the flow. Okay, it is that energy where we are just open to new things, we're open to suggestion, we're going with the flow, we're surrendering our fears, our worries, our doubts, and we're just kind of going where the wind blows us. Okay, this is an excellent energy of being very much in tune with yourself, your higher self, and the universe. Okay, so to the sea is a very calm, a very serene kind of energy. Okay, so even if something uh, is, you know, when we're in the flow, even when something, um, you know, creates a problem for you or you have to figure out a solution, you're really more, you're not letting anything keep you down. You're not letting anything keep you stuck or anything like that, right? You're finding solutions. You're, you know, you're not overanalyzing, overthinking, worrying about anything. So it's really quite nice. But to the C could also indicate that you are moving forward as well because we do have come to the edge. So get ready for something. So some of you may be preparing to make some sort of bold moves. Okay, come to the edge can also show here that if you've put the feelers out for anything new, new opportunities, um, new job opportunities, okay, maybe even a big purchase of some sort, okay, come to the edge shows that uh, there's something imminent here for you. Very, very similar to the fool card in some respects. Okay, so come to the edge is get ready to take that leap, get ready to jump into something with both feet, something that's exciting, something that is wonderful, and something that leads you 
into a really good time, something that leads you where you want to go, okay, opens up new doors of opportunity for you. So get ready, okay? Um, <clears throat> you may also need to trust yourself to make some bold moves as well, okay? Uh, so you might be making some preparations, making some plans in the background, okay? You might be getting all of your ducks in a row, and then when the time is right, boom, off to the races you go. Let's see what else we've got coming in here for you guys. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, okay? A little bit of patience, okay? To the sea is very calm, very patient energy. Seven of Pentacles, okay? You might be really looking at things. Three of Pentacles, there's your teamwork, your collaboration, your partnerships possibly. Six of Wands, there's your victory, there's your success, there's your great energy there. High Priestess, your intuition may play a key role. There may also be something hidden that you may discover some sort of hidden information, okay? Uh, you might be doing some research, but there may also be something that you're keeping quiet about. You might not want to tell people what your plans are. You're putting a strategy together, that Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you might be keeping a little bit quiet about something, all right? But your, um, your intuition is certainly on point. We've got the Three of Cups here. The Tower, okay? Quite often the tower and our intuition are actually intertwined. They're interlinked in some way, okay? Um, because quite often we can look back, we can reflect on our lives, and we can pinpoint those tower moments, this shift where something changed internally or externally. And quite often when we look back, um, our intuition kind of was giving us some hints all along that something was going on or that something was changing okay but you can also be you can be the mastermind of your own tower moment as well okay that come to the edge right it's like when you're ready boom off the off you go all right but we've got the ten of cups here as well the hermit and we have there's your fool energy I knew there was a fool coming in there somewhere all right so there may be something new that you just are gonna have to just take that plunge somewhere along the way we've got the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck you may have a situation where you need to put up some boundaries okay queen of swords is very good at putting up boundaries all right but the queen of swords is really about trusting yourself trusting your intuition your inner wisdom okay uh trusting your own past life experiences here to make the right choices to make the right decisions communication is very important when we get the queen of swords okay so make sure that you are being honest and truthful in all situations you may be getting a certain amount of clarity somewhere um in your world here as well that clarity that may come in with that tower energy but the Queen of Swords is also a very intellectual, logical um, thinker, okay? So you might need to do some contemplation or some deep thinking. Maybe that's that High Priestess energy there for you, okay? Um, but you may also need to um, use your intellect and logic to figure out a solution or to put a strategy or a plan in place before you take, uh, before you take some action. So that Queen of Swords is very sharp-minded, um, individual. So you, your mind may be very, very sharp um, in the month ahead. Okay. You just got that clarity, that deep inner knowing, but you may also have somebody around you that may influence you in some way. This could certainly be someone new that you meet. This could be someone that is put on your path for a reason, for a purpose. And this person here would be someone who is very honest and truthful, very trustworthy, all right, and someone who um, is going to tell you uh, th tell you things like it is. If you ask this person, the Queen of Swords person, for advice, they're just going to lay it on the table for you. They're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're not going to be um, cruel or anything like that. They're just going to say, this is what it is. Take it or leave it. If you don't like it, don't ask the question. Okay, <clears throat> so be careful who you ask for advice and be ready to hear the answers and the responses that you get. But the Queen of Swords is a very wonderful ally to have. So this could be an ally in your workplace that you have, okay? But this, again, can just be someone that gives you some advice as well. But that can also be your energy. The Seven of Pentacles that we've got here, you might be really taking stock of your situation. This is where we kind of contemplate. We take a step back. We assess and we look and see, okay, I've put in this amount of time, energy, and effort into my situation. This is how far I've grown. This is where I've gotten to. Is it enough? 
Is there room left to grow? Is there more potential? Um, think of an investment, right? We've planted our seeds, right? Our roots have grown and we've gotten some rewards, some results here. But is there still room to grow? Do I need to harvest what I've planted? This can also be where you course correct something with the Seven of Pentacles. So you may be contemplating, it's a little bit of a patient energy, yes. Um, patience is a virtue, so you may have some rewards and something to celebrate that's um, coming along imminently and something that you have worked very hard at and something that you have done all of your due diligence. So a little bit more patience um, may be uh, in order for you before you get uh, things done and before you get things finished. Sometimes we just put in a lot of attention into things. But you might also be trying to figure out if you need to make a change or not. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles does that. Do I need to change my environment? Do I have new opportunities? Is there something better on the horizon? Or do I stick with where I am? You're using your intuition to show you the way, to guide you, okay? Your intuition may actually be pointing you in a certain direction as well or pointing you to, um, you know, some connections or people, okay? But you, your inner knowing here with the high priestess energy, you may actually be being a little bit conservative. It is a very quiet, very conservative kind of energy. Also one that is very open though, okay? Open to suggestion, very observant, Okay, so you might just be observing your surroundings to the sea, right? You're taking a back seat, at least initially, okay, before you take action. And sometimes we need to do that, the calm before the storm. So, um, but the, since the high priestess is the keeper in, of secrets and mysteries, number one, she's connected with the moon. Okay, that yin energy of being open, being receptive, going in the flow, connected with your moon, your manifestations, your third eye, okay, whatever you can envision, you can create, you can turn into reality. You're a visionary here um, with this energy, especially with this queen of swords, right? It's like you are just, you are just on point, your sharpest attack. But the high priestess is <clears throat> a very quiet, conservative energy. So this coupled with the seven of pentacles, you're thinking about something, you're, you have an opportunity or you're putting a plan together and you might feel that you need to keep keep quiet about it, okay? Um, and if you are thinking about making a career change or something, or if you have a strategy that you're building, okay, an investment strategy, um, a workplace strategy, or a strategy to move, okay, you might not, it might not benefit you to tell a lot of people about it, okay? Because sometimes... <clears throat> Sometimes we need to ask people for advice or sometimes we're all chit-chatty in our social group, the Three of Cups, but that's not always in our favor. It's not always in our best interest, it is, especially if you've got some great a burst of inspiration, some new ideas, okay, or, or if you think that people are going to try and stonewall you in some way. And, you know, sometimes if we've got some big goals and dreams or, you know, people come out of the woodwork. Right. People come out and they're like, oh, man, I wouldn't do that if I were you or wow, that's quite the risk. That's quite the gamble. I don't know if you should do that. And they don't have the information that they that you do. You, they haven't done the research that you've done. What they're actually doing is showing you their limitations. So sometimes we don't want to hear that. Right. Sometimes we just we don't want to hear anyone else's negative, uh, negative Nelly, you know, advice kind of thing. Right. And they think they're doing good. They think they're guiding you, but they're really just showing you their limitations, right? So that's, you might be keeping something under your hat, okay? And it's probably something that's going to make you very happy with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups has to do, it's your happily ever after card. So following your happy, following your bliss, your dreams, your goals, okay? And just having this deep knowing that things are going to work out. You may be getting some really good news in the um in the month ahead but there may be something here that involves family um the ten of cups is you know your family your children your home life um it can also be your working environment as well are you happy in your working environment or are you working on a plan to find your bliss and to find your happy perhaps you're looking to make some change to follow your heart to do something that gives you a lot of joy and a lot of satisfaction while also making some money. 
Okay, so maybe some of your priorities have changed, right? Especially if you've got some personal things going on in the background that are very positive, but this may give you a little bit of pause, okay? Um, pause for the cause, right? To think about, you know what? Why am I working so hard? Um, I have a little bit more freedom now, so you might be making a big change there. But you might also have some really good news on the home front, and this has you rethinking your career path. Okay, so um, the Three of Cups that is here does show you that, uh, you know, number one, that there is a very positive atmosphere, positive environment. You may be getting some really good news, a cause for celebration. Okay, you may also be partnering up with people, collaborating with people that dig your vibe. You're on the same page. You're creating something wonderful. Uh, you're having a good time. You're getting things done. You're enjoying the company, that soulmate energy that's there. Okay, so, you know, and both of these being threes, um, you might be creating something wonderful. So you might actually have a business partnership that um, that has the potential to be really positive for you. Um, perhaps you are the creative driving force behind uh, this collaboration. You might even be taking the lead role. Um, but whatever it is, you might actually be the person that kind of brings people together and keeps people on track, especially if people tend to be a little bit uh, a little bit too jovial. Okay, um, but this is an excellent energy of creation and seeing the fruits of your labor, starting to see some results. Okay, it's on your way to building something really wonderful and strong and powerful. So um, you may certainly be looking for some advice and guidance. Perhaps this comes through your through your social circle somewhere because the Three of Pentacles can be an energy of teaching, of learning, or getting guidance. And this may come from somebody uh, that is around you, some supportive humans in your world, okay? But this can also be your partnerships that are here as well, okay? And creating something for yourself. Uh, you don't even need to be in a partnership uh, necessarily with that Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, it can just be you creating something, um, learning new things, learning new skills as you go along, okay? The Seven of Pentacles that's here with the Three of Pentacles, maybe you've got your sights set on something and you want to be more in a collaborative team based environment um, and uh, you know or you're just rolling up your sleeves and getting to work and you're just getting things done for yourself okay whatever it is there is this energy of success and celebration and networking right you might actually be doing a little bit of networking and that may or may not always be your thing, Capricorn, okay? But sometimes it's a necessary evil. You never know um, in the course of business and finance and um, looking for opportunities, you never know where you may find them, okay? They may come from that um, business networking, that social engagement uh, that we sometimes have opportunities to attend, right? So think of like a conference, a trade show, um, maybe even something online. And that's where we meet new people. We branch out, right? Uh, you just never know what might happen. The tower energy shows you may have a very pleasant surprise, okay, that comes in if you if you branch out, you spread your wings and fly, Okay, the hermit energy here, uh, again, it's a very uh, solitary, very quiet kind of energy. So there's a little bit of energy here of calm before the storm, okay, of quiet contemplation, of being in the flow, doing some deep thinking, doing some analysis, some strategy, okay, um, before this explosive action. Okay, you might be doing some research with the hermit energy here. Um, a Virgo may play a key role somewhere in your world as well. A uh, Virgo person who is maybe a little bit quiet, but quite intelligent, actually. Okay, might be a great partnership for you um, in that regard. Okay, but there may also um, just be this energy here of going within, doing a little bit of soul searching, big contemplation, right? You might be um, thinking of your life's purpose. Okay, am I doing what I'm meant to do? Am I be gui being guided in a different direction? So you might be stepping into alignment with your soul's purpose, especially with this high priestess being here with the hermit card. So um, the hermit is a very solitary energy. And so you might actually be looking to head out on your own. Maybe there's, um, again, business partnership 
um, here for you, okay? Or maybe you are um, have some silent partners, right? And you can just be the star the star of the show, okay, but you might have some silent business partners. Maybe you are the creative driving force behind um, a business opportunity, but you need some backers, you need some investors, right? Maybe you just don't have the cash, okay, to get something off the ground, but other people might, okay, people who believe in you, who people who support you, all right? And this hermit energy being that solitary energy, maybe you just feel this feel as though there's something that you're meant to do and you've just got this inner knowing that you're on the right track and that you're making all the right moves. But the Hermit brings in some healing energy here as well, okay? Um, so I think that if you have some things that have gone a little bit sideways or maybe you're feeling the need to be secretive, there may be something that you can do here to fix and correct your situation. Perhaps you are a person that is thrown in to uh, sort out some problems in your workplace, right? It's your time to shine here and overcome some challenges with that six of wands. And so you might be like the fix it person, okay? Or you might be the person that comes in to, um, you know, to resolve issues within a department or something, right? That healer kind of energy that comes in with that hermit, okay? So, um, but I think whatever it is, I think you're getting some enlightenment, along your journey, along your way. I think you're following uh, your instincts, you're following your gut, okay? And you're moving towards something really uh, exciting. We do have a Six of Wands. <clears throat> the Six of Wands is an energy of success, badass success out of this book by your own actions, by your own deeds, okay? You are on top of the world. For one, this shows you how confident you are. If you're not feeling confident right now, Okay, I think you're going to get your confidence back. You also may be faced with some challenges and obstacles throughout your month, but you will overcome them. Okay, by keeping a positive mindset, by rolling up your sleeves, by gathering information, by putting together a good plan and following through with it, this puts you on your path to victory and success. Some of you may actually also be getting some rewards and accolades as well. The Six of Wands, like uh, being honored, okay, or recognized for a job well done. This could be in your current situation, but it can also be something new, okay? Um, you're in the spotlight, okay? All eyes are on you here. So um, this is certainly your time to shine, but you might be making some big, big changes, okay, in your month ahead. But um, with the tower here, there may be something that's a little bit unexpected. Now, first and foremost, the tower is about some sudden unexpected change, an epiphany, a revelation, a surprise of some clarity that comes in. The tower comes in when we're stuck. Okay, or when we need to do something differently or when there's just something fan freaking tastic that is coming in for us, but we need to clear out the old energy or the old situations first. Okay, the tower clears the path for new things, new ways of thinking, new trains of thought, new environments, new opportunities. Okay, all of these things, right? Because there's something here that's not clicking, something here that's not working for you. Okay, and that's got to go. But quite often, the tower does catch us off guard, and it creates a little bit of a shakeup in our world here. It can be an ending. It may be something beyond our control, but it may also be something well within your control, okay? You might just be formulating some, little masterminding some sort of plans in the background, Okay, you're really positive with this three of cups here that this will work. And then all of a sudden, one day, you just pull the plug. You pull the plug and you take that leap of faith with that fool energy. Okay, and it's like, again, like I said a little bit earlier, a calm before the storm. You're percolating over here. And there may be that shroud, that air of secrecy around you because you don't want people to know what you're up to necessarily. You're not being underhanded. You're not being devious. You're not being dishonest. Nothing like that. You're just being a little bit quiet about it. And then boom, here you go. We quite often do have those tower moments where we wake up one day and we've just, today is the day. Okay. So that may be your energy. You might be wake up one day in June and everything is starting to come together for you. And you're like, today's the day where I'm going to make a big, bold move. And it's something that is super positive for you. Do you see negative cards here? No. Do we only see positive cards? Yes, we do. Okay, so um, 
you know, something's changing here and there's something new and fresh and exciting coming in here with the Fool. Now, the Fool does bring about a little bit of spontaneity. Okay, so um, on the on the outset, number one, yes, you may take, you may catch people off guard. Okay, you may even surprise yourself because that fool, it's like, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to jump in with both feet. Today's my day. I'm, I'm just making all of these bold moves and it's great, um, but it can just appear to other people as though you're being spontaneous or even silly. And in actual fact, you have been in this energy for quite some time, but on the outside, because you haven't told anybody about it or because uh, you haven't revealed your game plan, okay, this is where it catches people off guard and they may think you're completely out to lunch, but you're actually not, okay, because whatever wasn't working, whatever information or revelation or whatever changes are happening around you, this opens doors for you, okay, so I think there's doors opening for you, there's a lot of potential here for you, you've got a good, strat a good strategy, a good foundation, a good game plan, Okay, and but you've got these wonderful new beginnings. You've, you're in the spotlight, this successful energy, this victory march that you may be on. Okay, you I may, you might be some sort of surprise that is headed your way with that tower energy, right? There could be something. <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe someone rewards you with something. You might all of a sudden get a promotion or a raise, or um, maybe you get headhunted for a brand new job. Okay, but whatever it is, onwards and upwards goes you. Okay. But that fool is really about taking a leap of faith, being excited about the future, getting ready for change, and it's maybe some new opportunities, okay, or a leveling up energy here where you just need to take the risk, you need to take the chance, okay? And we do get those moments in life where we've just got to take the chance because not knowing how something may have worked out for you may leave you with regrets later on down the road. Sometimes it is the here, it is the now, it is now or never sometimes, right? And it's true that whatever is truly meant for us will not ever pass us by, but sometimes it takes a long time to come back around again. And if the opportunity is here at now, it feels right, it looks right, it smells right, okay, then go for it, okay? This is that very much a go for it energy. Get out of your comfort zone, trust yourself to make the right moves, to make the right choices, and go for the gold, go for your victory, okay? <clears throat> and it may also be something here that you thought that you wouldn't get, <laughs> okay? If you've put yourself out here for a new job or something, you're not telling anyone about it, okay? And you're hopeful, okay? You're trying to maintain a positive out, out, um, outlook with the hermit. You're being very quiet. You're being very calm. You're being very patient, okay? And you, but there's still maybe, hmm, I'm really hopeful, but oh, I don't know for sure. And you might just get a phone call out of the blue and you're like, wow, um, it just blows your world. So you might just have some really exciting things happening for you in your world. Um, in the month ahead. It is a very exciting energy. And don't be too, too nervous with the tower, okay, because the tower comes in to get us out of our comfort zone, and the fool is certainly that energy of getting out of your comfort zone, but the tower is always here for our best and highest good, whether it's a shakeup of our internal organs, okay, or whether it's something in our external world, or usually a little bit of both, okay, it's always for our best and highest good, always leading us down a better path, okay, opening those new doors that are better and healthier for us. Okay, so uh, don't be too afraid of that, but we don't like the tower because people don't like change. And we also don't like surprises or being blindsided either. Uh, it's not always the nicest energy, even if there's something really positive, okay, we still don't like surprises necessarily. But I think this is looking like a pretty good tower. At the very least, you're getting clarity and maybe getting your confidence back and you're getting this knowing, this is what I need to do. I need to break out of here. This is what I need to do. And, uh, you know, you're um, headed in the right track. So let's get a couple more messages out here for you guys. Last messages, please. Thank you. We're going to get a third one. One more. There we go. Thank you very much. And I know what this one was before I even flipped it back over. This is number 16 again. 16 is the tower energy. Okay, so remember when we're to the sea in the flow, we're open, receptive, your high priestess energy, your intuition is at an all-time high. You, your perception is on point. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. 
You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you, ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Okay, there's that hermit energy a little bit and that high priestess. Very powerful spiritual energy. All right. We also have number 15. I am wise. Your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you into contact with a variety of people, all who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. There's your social environment with the three of cups. And we have number 44, um, master number. Some people think it is, some people don't think so. We're not going to get into that argument. Okay, so in this deck, it's master number 44. I am supported. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. There you go. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated for you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a comment in the box down below as well. I hope you have a fantastic, prosperous, and abundant June. I thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.